Hello and welcome back to Imcom Solutions. So today we're going to talk about a subject uh, I feel is very important to kind of maybe help eliminate some misunderstandings uh, or some confusion over the term mesh radio or yeah, just mesh period. Uh, so recently I did a video about the Beartooth Mark II um, mesh radio devices. And um, uh, there was some um, people that were pretty upset about the, the whole, a lot of it was the price. Um, and then the other part was uh, kind of a misconception that they, that they were taking this technology from Meshtastic. Um, so we're gonna help clear some of that up today and just have a broader uh, conversation about what mesh radio is uh, so that uh, going forward, because I'm gonna be doing future videos about other mesh technologies that are in the space that may be uh, the right solution for you for to meet your pace plan, to develop your communications plan. Um, so that is the purpose of this channel. That's This channel was, was the foundation of this channel was built in, in December of 2023, really it was built way before that on my Ravenwood Acres channel, which is a broad, more broad-based preparedness homesteading channel where I talked about emergency communications uh, on occasion. And then when I started working and when I got my first T-beams, uh, actually one of them is right back there, that one right there uh, on the shelf, the one with the blue face on it. Um, I got two of those about two years ago and I started down the whole Laura mesh communications, mesh world and really started enjoying it and then found that there wasn't a whole lot of information on YouTube. So I started, uh, doing videos on it and they gained a lot of traction. I got a lot of interaction, really enjoyed have grown the community, uh, have my own, uh, Laura mesh communications telegram group that has grown to nearly 340 people uh, as of today um, and uh, have great conversations and continue to use and I am consider myself a Laura mesh hobbyist somebody that is you know learning and growing and trying to figure out every way I could use this technology uh, to uh, improve my overall emergency communications skill sets and <clears throat> I love sharing those videos with you. So we're gonna start by talking a little bit about Meshtastic along with Laura to kind of differentiate the two and then talk Beartooth as far as their, um, where they started and kind of what their technology is versus what Laura technology is and hopefully eliminate maybe some of that misunderstanding it doesn't mean that I'm telling you that you need to go out and spend uh, your hard-earned money on their devices. If their devices are not for you, they're not for you, that is for you to decide. I am presenting you with information. Okay, well, I appreciate uh, you guys hanging along this long. So let's get started about Mestastic. Let me bring up my notes really quick here. All right, so now that I have my notes up, so uh, Mestastic really, I want to start off another little kind of side note. The developers over Mestastic, in my opinion, are saints. They're doing this, I believe, for literally no compensation. And they've, uh, what I found is it seems like they were developed around or kind of started to form around 2019. Uh, and this project utilizes, you know, it gives you that, that I like to for, refer to Mestastic more as like an operating system. Uh, yes, it's firmware that goes on your LoRa device like this, T-Beam Supreme. Uh, and then, of course, their app that allows you to interface in between the two. Uh, but I think it maybe is better understood by people if you call it like an operating system, like if you have an Android device, or, you know, Samsung, whoever makes it, but it uses Android as the operating system. That would be this Lore device is using Mestastic firmware as its operating system. Uh, I, you know, I'm, maybe somebody will criticize that but I think that's a good way to explain it so that maybe someone that doesn't quite understand how that works is that is you can call this a mestastic device 
I don't care. Uh, you know what? I, I call crescent wrenches crescent wrenches, but even though they're an adjustable wrench, they, you know, may be made by crescent, but and maybe they were the first one. I don't. I, I've never actually looked that up, but it. You know, they, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Or channel locks. So there's another good one. Um, that's a company, um, but not the actual tool. I mean, they make tools, but and they lock the tools. So. So they've been around since 2019. I, I feel like that's important to kind of help collaborate in some of the information I can provide you later about Bertus uh, when they were formed and what their role was in the development of Laura. Um, so, uh, okay, Laura matched a little bit. Let's talk about Laura or long range technology was a, you know, it's a backbone for IOT, Internet of Things, and it was an or off-grid communications like Mashtastic, the most popular one. The the point is, is so there was a the French company. I'm gonna say is Cilio, if I'm saying that correct or wrong, I apologize. Uh, that Simtech, a California-based company, bought in 2012. I don't know exactly when they kind of released Laura the technology for the broader audience, but I know they were developing and improving the technology that they when they bought it from that French company, and. Uh, they also worked on Laura WAN, which is Laura over a wide a wide area network, uh, which is using internet. The technology was really de developed for including like things like applications like smart cities. Um, Amazon Sidewalk is one of those ones that uses Laura. Uh, you can get Amazon Sidewalk kits from Rack Wireless. Agricultural uh, information, environmental monitoring. I mean, even uh, Smashtastic users can. Get those rack whiz blocks and get the uh, sensors installed and and be able to you know like remotely get information like temperature and humidity from you know wherever your device is at if it's you know it, you know obviously within your mesh network so there's that right that's kind of where laura started you know it's a low power low cost communications solution that that the developers over at Mestastic when they developed it saw the potential and it is a, a off-grid communication solution not just a thing to be able to send stuff over the ims which is the uh, industrial scientific and medical bands that are you know depending on what country or region you're in uh, there's an assigned um, frequencies that you can use and limitations based off your local uh, regulating authority us being the fcc saying you know hey this you know how much power this all this type of things that you can do and what frequency ranges you can use uh, with the Laura devices specifically it's the 915 megahertz is what's being utilized and they utilize the chip spread spectrum for their modulation that's a point that I'm pointing out because I'm going to show you the differences between what other mesh radio companies or technologies are using that is not the same as Laura so um, <clears throat> um, all right, so on to Beartooth. All right, after my interview with Michael, the CEO, so we got I got some pretty good information from him, and it helped kind of clear some things up. I had already realized after reading their the material uh, from their company about the Mark II uh, that it wasn't using Laura, so I, I understood that much. Uh, I didn't quite understand what exactly how it was working and the difference between what they're using versus what Laura's capabilities and limitations are. At SimTech, some of the guys, I don't know if it was Michael himself or whatever, uh, or some of his team actually worked with SimTech in the development or improvements to Laura technology. Um, then in 2014, Beartooth formed its own company and produced the Mark One device, which, from my understanding, used some LoRa technology. Um, the Mark Two, which was, you know, recently introduced, um, it does not. It uses frequ uh, frequency hop spread spectrum modulation. It is on the IMS band, but it is in the 900 megahertz range, which allows it to uh, operate up to one watt it is 10 times the uh, bandwidth of of laura capability therefore that's why they can do the voice uh, 
and then that's how they can share photos over those networks. So that's why I'm pointing out is there's there's a pretty big difference between that and LoRa. So it would be hard to argue that they're like taking from Meshtastic or they stole from Meshtastic. Remember, Meshtastic formed around 2019. Uh, Beartooth formed around 2014. Simtech bought the LoRa from the French company in 2012. There is a good possibility, I don't know, that maybe some of those teams or members and so on and so forth from Simtech are the individuals that initially developed Meshtastic but or had some sort of interaction somewhere in the in between. What I'm saying is that just to clarify, all right, so to summarize really kind of what we talked about here, so Meshtastic, right? It is a open source firmware, software, operating system, however you want to refer to it, that allows you to enter interface and use LoRa chips to communicate two-way, uh, to achieve two-way communications, right? Long range is that technology that's being, that they're interacting with, the LoRa devices. This, like this, is a LoRa device or LoRa radio. Beartooth has their devices that are mesh radios, but they use a different technology. They don't use a LoRa chip, the Mark II specifically. Uh, so, I hope that helps provide some sort of clarity. You know, we're future we're going to talk Gotenna a little bit. We're going to talk, I think there's another one called Milo, which sounds a little bit similar to Beartooth. And I think I found one other, I'm doing more research. I'm going to be presenting you that with information. It's, it's information for you to receive if you so choose to receive it and make your own choices. So I hope you found this useful. If you did, please subscribe to the channel. Check out our links, which are down below. Stay tuned for more videos. And guess what? My next video, it's about using CalTopo with a LoRa device. So I don't hate LoRa, I promise you. Thanks for watching.